All right, what's going on YouTube? Thanks for tuning back in. And today's video is going to be on the, oh, I hope I pronounced this correctly, Tule Upright Bike Carrier. Um, if I butcher that, I apologize, but I think that's how you actually pronounce it. So either way, uh, I'm going to show you how the item got shipped to my house. I'm going to show you the part. I'm going to show you the hardware and whatever else is included inside the box. Then I'm going to show you what tools are required at a minimum for this uh, assembly. And then last but not least, I'm going to show you from start to finish on how to assemble it. And then once we're done assembling it, I'm going to show you how to properly mount it on the vehicle. So with that being said, not to waste your time, let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to loosen down the tube holder assembly on the bottom of the tray with the hex key and slide down to the opposite end of the tray. Once that's done, you're going to position the front edge of the down tube holder plate 12 inches from the end of the tray and then you're going to retighten it. Once that's done, you're going to take the slide rear bracket and the slide strap and you're going to in place those or put those into the tray channel. Now, just keep in mind, though, the buckle will have to be on the same side as the lock. Now, once all that is done, you're going to take that end cap and you're pretty much going to slide that in either side, either the front or rear, however you have to have it set up. Uh, and there's going to be a little flex flex tab that you're going to have to pull up and then lock it into place. Okay, now once this bike carrier is assembled, then you can mount that onto your crossbars. Now, just keep in mind, the tube holder is the little claw-looking thingy um, that you're going to have to place on the front crossbar. Now, to attach those, you're going to need one bracket, two washers, and two knobs, also what I like to call the wing nuts. And then you have to attach this to each of the three mounting positions. Now, the only recommendation that I have for you, if you are running two of these bike carriers, do not tighten them all the way down. Um, once you actually get them hand-tight, I would use a tape measure and then ensure that they have the same equal distance on both sides. All right, so there we go. Just showed you how to install some two late upright bike carriers on a 2020 Subaru WRX STI. Um, now, at the beginning, I know you should say, I'm gonna show you what tools are required uh, for this installation, but I don't wanna waste any footage and I was gonna wait till the end, but hey, this is all you're gonna need. This is an Allen key. Uh, I wanna say there's a five millimeter or six millimeter, but either way, all you need is this Allen key and those wing nuts as you saw me tighten down. So that's literally it for tools. On that, if you like the video, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up. Also, if you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button, turn those notifications, because I will be having more videos on this vehicle here in the near future. On that, that's it for right now, YouTube. Until next time, again, thanks for tuning in. Take it easy.